everybody. Um, so let's talk about another practical tip, how to use a paint deck. Okay, so right there we have um, the Sherwin-Williams paint deck on there and we're specifically gonna talk about that deck a little bit. So, and I have one here. Um, the all Sherwin-Williams numbers of their paint, they have a color and a number and it starts with an SW. Uh, for example, this is a SW7043 Worldly Gray, but at the top of that it has a 245 and a 245C1. It's kind of almost impossible if you're using this deck and somebody tells you, oh, I want to find Worldly Gray. If you just have this deck and you just, you can thumb through it forever. So it's really good to know the 245 number, the 245C1. And the C1, it goes all the way down to, you know, um, five usually. Yeah, five usually. So, um, and that goes with the intensity, you know, more whites in here and more blacks down here. Um, mm -hmm. So, so this color will definitely blend with this color too, or, or look well together too. That's a monochromatic yeah. scheme yeah, right, right there. there. Yeah. Right. Which we haven't right. talked we about yet, but that's, that's, that's a good example. example. We haven't gotten there, but if you want a mon monochromatic scheme, you can follow the deck, yeah. Stick mm -hmm. to one page on a deck. Right. Yeah, now there is an index in here. So if right. there's so, a color yeah. like Jubilee is one of, one of yeah. the color that I love, you can go into the index to find that number and that'll give you the three digits. Right. But the three digits on top and then you'll have the C, those are the one, that, that's much easier to find on this deck. Right, correct, yes. <laughs> spinning through. Gotcha. So if I, if my favorite color, let's say was green but like a, like my favorite color is emerald green but i'm not going to paint my living room emerald green right because all my friends would hate me so here i could um, go to i could find emerald green and then go up or down the scale and find a toned down version of that exactly right that could yeah. be a the light color the color of your wall for example and then maybe you want to backsplash or something in the in the darker tone or something yeah and then i'd use that emerald green for yeah little accents mm -hmm. maybe i've got an emerald green kitchen aid or something like that Right. right. Yeah. Fine. There you go. I like that. <laughs> and then the other thing that's 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 great about the decks too is that you know as you go through it, you can see where the greens are turning into blues, right? right? Mm -hmm. So if you want a green blue, you know that if you're you know within this, you know in here, then that then it, it just kind of helps kind of figure out which direction you want to go. You know, I'm looking at these and I really like the blues more than the greens. So mm -hmm. it just gives you all of them at one time, so you can really kind of find what you what's fan of yeah, fan of start to dial things in. Hey, Paul, I also want to add something that a lot of people I feel like don't know is that when you, if you find a paint color you love in the paint deck, you can actually go to the paint store and, but you, there's not one close to it that's like what you love. They can actually tone down that specific color. So you could tell them, I want this color at like 75%. And that means that they're just putting like 75% of the mix in there. So that also helps tone down colors. Yeah, that's up. Mixing our own colors, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've done I that. I know a few uh, designers that like to do that with walls and ceilings. They'll take the wall color, ask the paint company to just take that formula, cut it in half, and use it for the ceiling color. Ceiling, correct, yeah. Or vice versa, you know, it's a way right. of- Metallic, too, if you, that's a fun- That reflective yeah, uh -huh. quality, yeah. Metallic. Right. Right. Yeah, very good, good tip. Uh, yeah, when, just on a slightly side note, I know the big box stores are super convenient, I always like to recommend if a, if someone's looking for paint, go to one of the smaller paint stores, like a Sherman, a dedicated paint store, like the Sherman Williams or the Benjamin Moores or the Porter Paints, the PPG, because the guys behind those counters are, are, are really good with color, right? It's not nothing against the 26 year old college kid behind the counter at Home Depot, right? but that guy behind the counter at the paint store or woman has probably been mixing right. for years and years and had gotten specific training and, uh, you get a lot of better advice on product and on color from those stores too. Yeah, great. So little, <laughs> little, uh, little pitch for going to your local paint store yeah, instead, of, right. instead of the big box there. Um, all right, so that's up there.